Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. We had a blast this past weekend with our movie night. Today I'll share with you how it all came together, but before we get started, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Here's a list of the supplies you'll need to create this giant popcorn box. A utility knife and scissors will also come in handy. Measure one to one and a half inches on both sides. Draw a line from the marks to the opposite edge of the poster board. Repeat on the other side to make a tapered box panel. Repeat on all other poster boards. Using your ruler and utility knife, trim the excess board. Here I use the tape roll to measure the spacing in between each stripe. You just want to make sure that each stripe on the edge are the same color. I just use a pencil to lightly mark the color pattern just so that they will match up in the end. Make sure you erase the pencil marks because they will show through the tape. We're going to completely cover each poster board in duct tape, that way our finished product is nice and durable. You can leave it as is, this will make a great pop for any movie night, but what's a popcorn box without popcorn? I decided to put together yellow and white balloons to create the popcorn kernels. You want to fill the balloons at different sizes and wrap them together either by tying them, using a rubber band, or using glue dots to keep them in clusters. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to like and share with a friend. You're going to want to make clusters of two balloons and another cluster of three balloons. My kids were so excited once they seen what I was building, they couldn't wait for movie night. What are you doing to entertain your family this summer? Let me know in the comments below. Once secure, you're gonna wrap them together to make the popcorn kernels.
And just like that, we have popcorn. It looks nice plain, but you can add stickers or use your Cricut to label the front of the box. Now let's move on to the snacks. Here I'm just browning up some chopstick for tacos. We're also having hot dogs on the roller just like the theater and pretzels as well. I love this little oven. I'm able to keep the hot dogs warm and also bake the pretzels at the same time. Now we're going to move over to the condiments. Here I'm just placing ice into this tray to make sure everything stays nice and cold. This container comes with five compartments and it's going to hold the jalapenos, the pico de gallo, guac, sour cream, and some pickled onions. How do you like your nachos? Let me know in the comments below. Here's everything ready for serving. We even made chili to go on the nachos and the hot dogs. How would you top yours? It wouldn't be a concession stand without slushies. You can use your favorite drinks and mix in your favorite candies to make an ice cold treat. I have to have my slushy mix with blue raspberry and cherry whenever we go to the movie theater. I found this LED letter board at Aldi a while back and I knew I would put it to good use. Now let's set up our concession stand. Here I'll just be placing the movie candy. We have a good variety of both chocolate and fruity candies. What's your favorite movie candy? Let me know in the comments down below. Moving on to the popcorn, I'm gonna use this all-in-one pack. It has everything you need to make the perfect movie theater popcorn. We're having a double feature tonight. While I'm finishing up the snacks, the kids are already started on their first movie. The popcorn is finished and it's smelling so wonderful inside the house. If you like this video and you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on any more videos. Here's a quick look of the setup outside while everyone's grabbing snacks. 
I want to thank you for spending a part of your day with me. I hope you enjoyed this fun movie setup and I'll see you in the next video.